It's not surprising that the scene of Jacob's nighttime struggle in this week's Parsha, Parsha Vaishla, is depicted in many ancient, medieval, and Renaissance paintings. Of course, those artists love biblical stories and especially angels. But what may be surprising is just how much attention this scene has gotten from modern and contemporary artists as well. Everything about this story is ambiguous. And everyone, the artists, just like the rabbis, has a different interpretation of what is going on and what it all means. Who started this wrestling match? And who surrendered to who in the end? Did this happen in reality? Or was this a vision or a dream? Was Jacob's opponent a human being or an angel of God? Was this man angel a representative of Esau, or of God, or a projection of Jacob himself? Were the two locked in a struggle or an embrace? The modern artist, especially the modern Jewish artist, may be drawn to this story specifically because of these questions, fundamental questions of identity and religious experience. The American artist Hanania Harari, born Richard Goldman, visited Israel in the early 1930s to explore his identity and completed this painting upon his return. Harari, like many after him, translated this traditional biblical story in a very modern way. In this case, by placing abstract shapes and patterns together to resemble two figures that you have to search out in order to find and understand. The contemporary Russian artist, Grisha Bruskin, explains that it was actually Rilke's poetry, not the original biblical story, that inspired him to use this image in sculpture. Rilke's poem, The Man Watching, concludes with the following message. Whoever was beaten by this angel, who often simply declined the fight, went away proud and strengthened and great from that harsh hand that sculpted him as if to change his shape Winning doesn't tempt that man. This is how he grows, by being defeated decisively by constantly greater beings. Bruskin's Jacob and the angel are dressed in contemporary clothing to suggest that this encounter continues to happen now, in present time. Bruskin has said himself that struggle is the only possible and worthy path for human beings. Struggle is the foundational principle of an individual's path in life. Whereas Bruskin presents Jacob's story as the story of the everyman, other artists use the struggle of Israel the person to mirror the struggle of Israel the people. Australian artist Victor Masner published visceral reflections on all 54 parshiot of the Torah in his book called Painting the Torah. In this scene from his book, a red winged creature carries a lifeless Jacob off the ground behind vines that are reminiscent of barbed wire. 
Masner, who was born in Poland in 1945, seems to place this crippling encounter in the context of our struggle to understand the tragedies of the Shoah. Similarly, Russian-Israeli artist Elisheva Nisus, in her series called The Modern Bible, dresses Jacob as a modern Israeli soldier, representing the Israeli nation who continues to struggle with God as the whole world watches behind. Finally, Arthur Sussman portrayed this episode as a whirlwind of wings and arms and legs and even faces. Maybe this multitude represents the variety of possible interpretations or its relevance in the past, present and future. Or maybe it's meant to suggest that we all have our many struggles, but that we also all have our many angels. Shabbat Shalom.